welcome back. It is the son of man himself, Jesus Christ, talking to you. Anyway, today I'm showing you a cool glitch on how to get a cool modded outfit in GTA Online. The checkerboard outfit, pretty easy to do. Anyway, don't forget to enter the 200 day Pornhub Premium account giveaway. Alright, let's get right into it. So load into story mode and open up that interaction menu and head to director mode. Need to do this first. Go into your actors, then GTA Online actors, and go ahead and shortlist that actor. Then go to animals and shortlist a bird. Make sure it's the chicken hawk. I mean, that's the easiest to use, so I just recommend using that. And then once you have done that, you can just go ahead and exit director mode back into story mode. Once you are back into story mode, you can go ahead and open up that menu and head over to online and then play GTA Online and then go. Just go into a normal session, not an invite only. Once you have loaded in to an online session, gonna, you're going to want to get a vehicle and find the time trial on the map for you. Uh, this is the time trial location for the week, so it does change every week. So it might be different from you depending on when you're watching this. But just grab a vehicle and head over to the time trial. Once you are at the time trial, just go ahead and get out of your vehicle real quick. Open up the interaction menu and you can wear any normal outfit and go ahead and turn on the parachute by going to style and then parachute and then turn it on. And then also you're going to want to go uh, open up your interaction menu and go to last location or spawn location and turn it on last location. So you just scroll all the way to the bottom and put your spawn location on last location. Then drive into the time trial, go ahead and start it up, and then wait a few seconds and then switch to Franklin, or the story mode character that you used in the beginning. On computer you hit alt to switch or to get to the wheel to choose the characters. Once you are in uh, story mode, after you get done with the cutscene or whatever's going on, go ahead and open up the interaction menu. and then go down to director mode. Now once you load into director mode, uh, this is what takes the longest with the glitch. Uh, probably want to tie down your analog stick, depending if you're on controller, or put something down on your arrow key on computer, and just hold down the select button and make sure your birds are duplicating. So this takes like 25 to 30 minutes, depending. But you just want to go ahead and do that and your bird should be duplicated. Once you've duplicated enough birds, your GTA Online character will glitch on top of the hay bale. So that's what you're going for. So after about 26 minutes, your GTA Online character is up there as you see. I dupe like one or two more birds after that. And then once you get back over to the hay bale, just go ahead and back out of this. And then go to actors and then uh, beach bombs and then your character will disappear or go back over here it won't look like your normal online character and you can just press spacebar to look at appearance or whatever that is on controller and scroll through until you find a cool outfit with a Christmas mask it has to have a Christmas mask to save it and some cool checkerboard clothing that you want so Make sure if you want to bring it into online, you can't have any blacklisted items like a duffel bag. So it has to have a Christmas mask and whatever checkerboard cool pattern that you want. So here I find this outfit. It's got the Christmas mask. This is like the granny Christmas mask. And it's got these cool checker uh, pattern pants. So I'm like, yeah, I'll get this one. So I just hit tab, add it to my short list. And then go ahead and exit out. Go to shortlist actors and scroll down to it. Now when you scroll down and go past the chicken hawk, it might come back to this screen. That's fine. And then go down to your boardwalker that you have and then hit enter to select it. Or whatever that is on controller and enter director mode. Now that you're in director mode, walk around for a few seconds just to make sure everything's working good. Don't rush this. Just walk around like 5 to 10 seconds. 
it's about good. And once you have done that, walked around for long enough, just open up the interaction menu and quit director mode. Now once you're in story mode, you need to walk around for a bit more just to ensure that it's going to save. It is important to do, so don't just skip this and go straight into online. So I walk around for about 30 seconds to a minute uh, just to ensure that it's going to work because you don't want to waste all that time doing this glitch and then have it not work. If you have any questions about the glitch and it's not working for you, just ask me in the comment section below and I will definitely answer any of your comments or concerns. I love when you guys comment and I appreciate it if you liked, but you don't have to. And consider subscribing because it does mean a lot and it makes me want to make more videos. So once you think you've waited long enough, just go to the menu, then go to online, play GT Online and go. Go to a normal public session, don't go to an invite only. Once you have loaded in to GT Online, since you had last location on, you'll spawn back over here by the time trial. Just go ahead and hop in your vehicle and head over to the nearest clothing store so you can save this sick new modded checkerboard outfit. And now you're you're basically done. You did it. All you got to do is just walk in and save it like any normal outfit. So just go on straight in and save it. Now when you have checkerboard stuff on, you will not be able to edit the outfit. So you'll only be able to save it. So this is how it's going to permanently look. It, I guess GTA recognizes when there's checkerboard stuff. And it doesn't let you edit it in the store. If I find out a way to edit it, I'll definitely let you guys know. But for now, that's how you save it and get that sick checkerboard outfit. Anyway, I appreciate all you guys watching. I appreciate the support on the last one on the joggers video. And if you want any more cool videos like this on how to get some sick outfits, just let me know. I appreciate it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It doesn't mean a lot. See you in the next one. Peace.